What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. I said I was going to give you a day two update from the college, FLW College National Championship on the Red River. So I said that Wednesday. Today's Friday. I'm coming out with another video because guys, I missed this past Sunday's video. I ended up uploading it on Monday. So I said this week I'm going to have four videos. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, which is today, and then Sunday I'm going to have another video. So that's what I'm going to be doing. We are actually drove eight hours today um, we have like another six tomorrow something like that I believe or five hours tomorrow morning so we're stopping here halfway along the trip and we're gonna stay so I'm filming my video right now I'm gonna be posting it right after this I would like to thank you guys so much for the support first of all thank you guys so much everyone following along my journey following along my Instagram page YouTube whole deal thank you guys so much got to meet a bunch of uh, amazing supporters at this event um, it was great meeting you guys, especially um, some that came out to Bass Pro. Um, it was awesome meeting you guys and also um, met a lot of cool people um, at the tournament itself after day two. And also actually on the road, I actually met some people um, waving at me um, through their window. So I would like to talk about what happened on day two of the tournament. If you guys are wondering, we finished 66 out of 170 boats at uh, my first FLW national champ college national championship. Um, I'm not super happy about it, no. Am I mad about it? No. Uh, guys, this is probably the toughest um, river or lake, whatever you'd like to call it, that I've ever fished. It's definitely the toughest body of water I've ever fished. Um, definitely the toughest body of water. It's hard to explain, guys, a lot of mixed feelings I have about this place. Um, one thing, destroying the boat. I've absolutely destroyed the boat. Uh, I can make a video on that, showing you guys later. I'd rather not show it right now. I don't even want to think about it right now. As you guys know, I got that brand new trolling motor. Absolutely destroyed it. Uh, knocked off my transducer, too, on the second hole, first day of practice. I mean, the boat is a mess right now. The wrap's destroyed. I can show you that in another video, I guess, coming out Sunday. Uh, I'll figure out what I'm gonna do for, for Sunday's video, and maybe I can fit this fit that into it. But um, all in all, guys, it was a very tough event. Um, it was definitely not the best event this year, but it, it was not the worst. Super tough, throwing crankbaits along some riprap banks, some rocky banks. And pretty much trying to do everything we could to catch a five bass limit, but that did not happen. Day one of the tournament, if you guys haven't watched that update video, I suggest you go watch that before watching this video. I posted that Wednesday. Um, we had four fish that day. Um, this last day, we only had two. Um, Sean lost two fish literally back to back. This camera boat pulled up. He was like, how are you guys doing? How many fish you got? And literally right when he said that, one hit Sean's crankbait literally right at the boat. And I grabbed the net. And right when I grabbed the net, it just happened to come off. Um, about 10 casts later, he hooked another one, and I was like, is it a bass? Because we kept catching drum and crappie, uh, whatever we could catch, or short fish. And um, he's like, whatever it is, it's a big one. And right when he said that, it was like probably two and three quarters. It jumped out of the water and just came off. It was just not our tournament, guys. When, when you lose fish like that and just stuff starts happening like that, it's just not our tournament. We did catch about 10 short fish. Um, they had to be 12 inches and all the fish we caught were about 11 and a half inches. So, except for the two that were obviously keepers and the ones that came off, obviously caught a ton of drum. If this is a drum tournament, I promise you, we would, we would have won it. Um, caught a ton of drum and that's just like, when you hook into one of those, it feels so big guys. You're all going crazy, get the net. Um, but after we caught about five of those, you know, every time we hooked the fish, I mean, I was thinking it was either drum or a short every single short fish we caught or every single short fish we hooked we got into the boat every single drum we hooked we got into the boat but uh, those two that sean hooked just happened to come off just spit that crankbait which is just when stuff like that happens it's just not going it's just not happening um, we locked into pool four again and uh we did that whole deal we didn't stay in pool five we didn't fish any in pool five except for like the last 10 minutes and uh we were doing at 30 30 yesterday um we were about like 130 i believe yesterday and so we ended up making it to the lock locked in did our same routine for hit our first hole and nothing i mean we caught some shorts caught some spots cut a lot of drum and then 
from that, we hit that spot one time. We were, like the first day we hit that spot, we literally hit the whole bank all the way down. After we hit it all the way down, we hit it again. After we hit it again, we hit it again. Like it just kept replenishing because it's off the main river and all that current flow in. Um, that spot just replenished all day. But uh, yesterday that was not the case. You know, we went down it, didn't even catch a keeper. So we're like, screw this, let's just run and gun the rest of the day. And that's what we did. You know, we just went fishing really. And uh, we tried our best. We hit about 40 more spots after that. Hit every spot that pretty much looked good in pool four um, that we saw literally. Probably around 40 spots just running and gunning. Boom, 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 boom. And you know, only had those two bite or four bites and uh, bucketed two of them. And uh, rather than that, a bunch of shorts and drum. But guys, that that is just the wrap for that tournament, guys. I, I'm honestly just happy that we're done with it. Uh, we moved on from it. I will make a recap video if you guys would like to see that. If you would like to see that, be sure to drop a big thumbs up on this video and I will uh, be sure to make a recap for you guys over the Red River and uh, my thoughts on the Red River, how we were catching the fish and how we kind of broke down the water. And uh, I could definitely make a video on that if you guys want to see it. So be sure to drop a like on this video. Be sure to comment below if you guys want to see that. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed, I'm Noah from Kicking Their Bass TV. If you guys are new to my channel, um, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell where I, uh, I'm a college fisherman. You know, I travel all over the place, guys. Went to Minnesota for the Bass National Championship, and now we went to Louisiana for this championship. So the deal is for this week, I'm going to be in Savannah for a week. Um, I'm going to relax and go fishing some on the Savannah River. And then after that week, I'm going to go back to Atlanta. I'm going to be fishing on Lanier for some spotted bass. I know you guys love those videos. That's going to happen. I'm going to be busting out a bunch of good content, guys, since I have a lot of time now. Um, I mean, I'm not going to have a lot of time. You guys know I'm a busy person. I always keep busy, but uh, I'm going to be focused on the content um, rather than schoolwork. The, the night before yesterday, I literally – well, this is our finals week. I don't know if I told you guys this, but this week of the tournament was our finals week. So pretty much we um, – we're finishing homework while at this event. And that's the reason why I didn't go to the two Bassmaster events, uh, Cherokee and Pickwick, because we only have four absences. For, for SCAD, you only get four absences. And if you if you end up getting five, then you fail the class. So pretty much, I couldn't go to either of those events if I wanted to go to this event. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I would have rather skipped this event and either fish Pickwick or Cherokee because this place was honestly a total joke for the most part with how the fishing was, you know, it was rough. I mean, it was rough. I, I do not suggest going to the Red River. It did not treat us the best. I'm honestly happy that we caught the fish that we did and we're blessed to because we did a lot better than a lot of people out there. I can tell you that because people were struggling, blowing their lower units off, hitting stumps. I'm gonna talk about that in the recap video and I'll just show you guys footage because I have a bunch of cool footage of us locking through and everything. Maybe I can throw something together. I do not have all the fish catches on video, sadly. Um, the bigger one I caught yesterday, I don't have on video either. Um, I believe I have the one Sean caught yesterday on video though, but rather than that, I have a lot of drum on video. I stopped filming uh, within the first couple of hours because we were just focusing. We were cutting, boom, 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 hitting all these spots, doing whatever we could to catch the limit. Just kind of make it happen, guys. But that's just part of fishing, but that place is overall is super rough and uh, I'm not really upset about it. I'm gonna brush this one off, get on to the next one, maybe fish some Savannah River tournaments uh, this summer. Definitely some linear tournaments. Um, start traveling and do some collaboration with some, some cool people and uh, get a bunch of cool videos out for you guys. I'd like you guys to leave some comments below since I'm out of school now and let me know what type of videos you guys are wanting to see. Um, I know I almost ask this every single video, but I'm always browsing for content, browsing for cool content to make that you guys would enjoy. You guys love the Tackle Shop videos for some reason, so I'm always gonna be uploading those. Um, you guys tore up the Lottery Bass Pro Shop Challenge. I'll be making another one of those. Maybe I can do a Walmart fishing challenge. Um, gosh, there's so many videos I can make, guys. Just coming up with the creative ideas that people haven't done, um, like the lottery ticket challenge. No one's done that. I was the first one to do that. I can say that. And uh, it's just coming up with the ideas that are hard. But uh, overall, guys, I really hope you guys have been enjoying the content lately, at least the updates. Um, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Kicking the Bass TV, where I posted, you know, all the pictures from the event. Not all of them, but I have some more that I'll be posting the next couple of days. I post a lot of cool content on there, update you guys along the way, posting stories, whole deal. Um, but overall, guys, sorry about the lack of content. I feel like I've been talking the past couple of videos, which that's all I could get out to you guys. And you guys got to understand that that I've been so busy the past couple of days. It's been ridiculous. But uh, overall, guys, I'd like to say. 
Thank you all so much for the support. Thank you guys for always watching my videos and everything you guys do to support me. Um, you know, I wouldn't be here without you guys, and that, that really means a lot. But, guys, thank you guys so much for the support. I'm going to log out for this one. But be sure to drop a big like on this video if you guys want to see um, the recap video because I will make a recap video for you guys and um, show the base that we're throwing, you know, the rods I had them on, line, reels, whole deal about that. But thank you guys so much for the support. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, hit that little bell, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Mind your motherfucking business, ain't nothing you gotta see How you all up in my shit when you got more problems than me Yeah, I'm cool, but you don't wanna see that other side of me And my mobbing deep ho, I'm a prodigy I know, I know that you've been envy, it ain't that hard to see Don't you dare go fix your mouth to tell me that you proud of me ain't